And we use the term shots with soldiers simply because during wartime, many times before soldiers went into action, they were given a shot of liqueur, uh, of liquor or, or alcohol of some kind to warm their bodies, sometimes give them a little liquid courage and get them ready to go and do whatever mission they came. This became very common during particularly World War I during trench warfare. And before soldiers went over the top, so to speak, uh, they were often, almost always, in fact, offered a shot, usually of rum, often cheap rum, oh, always cheap rum, uh, but sometimes vile tasting rum. But most of them took that shot to perhaps warm them up and help them get through what lay ahead. Since we're gonna talk about uh, World War I, uh, tonight here in the next couple of minutes here. I'm going to just show you what I'm going to do use for my shot. And I'm going to use howitzer whiskey. Uh, this is for my shot. The artillery perhaps uh, more so than in any other war dominated the landscape and came of age. And Brigadier General McNaughton from Canada was one of the leading sort of tacticians and, and strategists on the use of artillery and use that to enable Canada to win the battles that we were engaged in and indeed to put Canada on the map. And because we are talking about World War I, my shot glass is a caribou to recognize the Newfoundlanders who fought particularly at Beaumont Hamel, but in five other locations for, with major battles around Northern France and Belgium during those four years. And, and so that's what I'm gonna use for shots with a soldier here 